All right, so your midterm is going to be to model out this shovel here. First thing I'm going to do is rotate the shovel so that it lines up more squarely in my scene. That'll make it a little bit easier to model, I think. It is, there is some distortion on it, camera distortion. There's also perspective on it, it looks like. This will make it easier to kind of get in there and get to work on the subject matter. The first thing I'm going to do, you notice I have the standard shelf here. So I'm going to be going through all of the windows to kind of do everything. But I'm going to make the shaft. Uh, we'll just change this to a 12. We don't need to have that 20 on there. And the radius, I'm going to just click on radius and drag it down. Looks like 3. 0.3 is good. Maybe a little bit more than 0.3. And then the height. like a seven maybe. Be all right. In my experience, shovels have a little bit of a space down here. Maybe it's a 7.5 or something, eight. But right around there is looking pretty good. Looks like it's gonna have to be longer because there's still a, a bolt going through there. So eight. And I'll do an 8.3 kind of get that in there. There we go. And then uh, why don't I just duplicate this? Spin it around 100 times. Mind you. There we go. Move it up. Pretty straightforward to get this part here. We can always adjust this if it's off. I'm going to press the plus key to make that bigger. Looks like if I do that, it's going to be because this is square. Yeah. All right, well, whatever. We'll just go keep it the way that it is. Minus key will make your tool smaller. All right, so we, th we do have a groove in here where that metal band goes around. So I'm going to want to get that. I'm going to need to use either my multi-cut tool or my insert edge tool. I'm just going to hold control for my multi-cut tool and add in a couple of these here. And I'm going to go to faces. Marquee select over that, come over here to my perspective view, and then we'll we'll hold shift to extrude that in. And so that doesn't collapse on me, I'm gonna extrude it in a little bit more. Oop. And then I have control edges on there because of that. And then we can add on control edge here and here. Now when I press three, it should be okay. Yeah, it looks good. The ends are not okay. We have to make those sharper. So I'm going to double click here, shift, double click over here. We'll bevel this, bevel. And then um, point 0.2, probably 0.1, yeah, 0.1. And then we'll turn the chamfer off. Probably need more than press three. Pretty good. This one here, we're going to we're gonna have to chamfer it too. So. And then you can't really see it from this angle. You're going to need to see it from a different angle eventually. So bevel it, not chamfer, but bevel um, in point 0.1, and then turn the chamfer off. Uh, so turn the chamfer to zero, and we're good. Object mode three, and then you have that shape. Now we're going to go on to the the harder part of this, which will be to add on that little band at the top. That's definitely going to be the harder part. But to make that, I can um, say take the faces in here, and I can duplicate them. So duplicate face is not on my standard shelf. It's underneath edit mesh down here to duplicate. Bigger. Mode. Get into it. I'm going to isolate that. I'm just going to delete out these. I don't need these faces down here. Delete. Edge. It's going to bring it out so it goes straight down. Once it gets straight, there, it's pretty much straight. To make this bigger, you can get a little bit more control over it. I can't quite get it straight. There you go. Got it. 
and then I can scale this so that it'll fit. There, and then we'll do a look at the faces here. I should have probably not scaled it, but. It's pretty flush there, that's what I was trying to get it to be. Flush here, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it that, that well. This will have to be narrower if I were to do that. Maybe we'll have to do that, make that narrower. Overall, that might be the better option. And then I will extrude these edges down. Press W, hold shift, I can drag down. Let me see if I can line that up in my... If we turn on X-ray. Okay, now we have to add edges onto this, so. I don't like doing it this way. Go to object mode. We're gonna go to um, mesh tools and go to the insert edge tool option box because multi will make them even if we go with four we might be good maybe we'll need five but this is such a small space i don't think it's going to be i think four is what we're going to use can't see my vertices here Move those up, like so. And if you move them up too much, you can always scale them to kind of dull that down a little bit. We need to we'll add an edge loop on here and over here. And then we can round these over. Scale them. Probably should pull those out in the middle. It would make more sense. Go to edge and get these edges out here to wrap. slide this down because it's not quite doing it right. Object mode. We'll extrude this. Click on extrude. You just have a control edge going wrong along there, so two, I'm gonna add two in. One on top, one on the bottom, object mode three. Now it's nice and sharp. As it should be. It's looking pretty good. It's tight on there, but I'm not. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to make this different here. Let's get that vertex. Turn off x ray. And bring it in. There we go. We're good. All right, cool. Now let's double check our length on this. Yeah, that's what I thought. And we scaled it. We changed the length. We got that on there. Now we're going to add on these little bolts. So those are going to be a sphere. Move this up. We don't need to have 20. We'll do 12 by 12. It would be easier that way. If I just delete this here. Hold down J, and then you can click and drag it over to 90 pretty easily. Scale it down. Get to be like the same size, roughly. Looks like it's about right. We can 
flatten it because it is pretty flat. Uh, maybe not flatten it so much. It's like embedded in here. Let's check to see if it's in the middle. So we'll turn on. Oh, get a little shaded. Snap it over to the middle. V, hold on V, you can snap it. You can roll over vertex, whichever you want to snap it to. Let's get it smaller. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to I'm going to go in this end here. I'm going to press R and scale into the center, and then I'm going to do it again. And then I'm going to go to merge the center, which is right here on my shelf. And then I can take these faces. Remember, if you hold tab, you can click and drag to paint select. I'll extrude that out. Let me go through. Don't be too wide. Just in case I'm going to scale it in on the green here. And I can add an edge loop on here if I need to. Sharpen that up. Not that you would ever see it, but. being weird. I don't know why it's not working. What the heck come on. Okay, well mesh tools, insert edge tool. I do. Insert edge tool option box. Reset your tool. Why is this not giving me insert edge loop tool option box. I can't. All right, well, we're going to stop the recording right here for this one because Maya's messing up and I'm, I want to restart it. Okay, so I'll stop the recording here.